Hey guys, and um, welcome back to some magical reviews, where it's time to get back into the horror game. Now, I know the last two films I've reviewed were also horrors. This is the third one in a row now, but it's for Hereditary, the 2015 A24 Pictures film directed by Ari Aster. Um, now, for those who haven't seen the film yet, I must give a spoiler warning. Because there are spoilers ahead. But for those who have or just don't care about spoilers, stay tuned. Because this film follows a very weird family whose whole bloodline is possessed by the Demon King Payman. Well, let me explain quickly. Um, the film actually begins showing us the family life of a mother, father and her two sons after the funeral of the family's grandmother, the mum's mum. And then we actually just get to see how weird the family's youngest child, Charlie, is. The young, uh, She's the young daughter. As the first thing we actually see her do that shows that she's possessed is walk as if in a trance across her family's field. Now... The film actually starts to pick up after an accident involving Charlie. Um, as her brother has to rush her to the hospital from a party he's taken her to. Because she started to choke. And he has to swerve to avoid hitting a little... Uh, no, uh, to, uh, to avoid hitting a kid who's wandered out into the road. And doing so accidentally kills Charlie. And so the mum, after this, out of grief, starts, um, <clears throat> starts turning to mediumship. And this is where the weird stuff really happens and all the freaky stuff for this film. As she actually first gets in contact with Joan. A lady who is heavily into mediumship and uses a, um, and, uh, and, well, ritualistically performs seances to talk with Her lost son, who tragically, according to the film's story, died at the age of seven. And this then prompts her to start doing seances to talk to Charlie. And doing this is what actually starts the possessions Yes, seances are bad news in horror films, guys. Don't ever do them. Okay. And nothing is quite as it seems in the film to begin with. And we just see how weird the mum and the son are. The only family member who is not having any of this is the dad. So, well, if there's one thing the film's particularly good at, it's subverting your expectations. When Right when you expect something to happen, 
it turns around. Uh, it turns the tables and doesn't happen. Okay. <laughs> Although... Now, this is just where I get to my opinion of the film now, guys. It has a very slow build-up, but once the actual... Once the actual weird stuff begins to happen properly, it is proper freaky. And... It is a great film. Well worth a watch. If you're in to psychological horror. <sighs> anyway, guys. That's it for this review. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you've seen the film yourself, let me know what you thought in the comments below. I'll be interested to know. Until next time, thanks for watching and have us a magical time.